What's up guys, we are here at Inwin, and just like every year at CES, they brought something completely crazy. This PC case right here, I bet you can't guess the price of because I was a little shocked when I heard it at first, but when they demoed it for me, it was super interesting. So let's take a look at this as well as the other cases and coolers and fans and stuff that they brought to CES 2020. BPS Customs coverage of CES 2020 in Las Vegas is made possible by Thermaltake, Fractal Design, and Corsair. Thank you to them for making our trip possible. Check out the links below and show some love to those guys or else they'll probably load up my next case review sample with a glitter bomb or something. So if you guys ever wanted to feel like you were actually in a Marvel movie and maybe were Tony Stark, Inwin's got a case for you. This is the day, and this is gonna be fairly limited production, I'd say, because it's $14,000. And when I first heard that, I obviously was like, what the hell do I need a $14,000 PC case for? But then they started demoing it for me, and honestly, it is really cool, and it's super unique. So if you say something like, Jarvis, start a light show. In a second, you'll see that these panels start moving on their own. It starts playing music, starts flashing lights. See, there you go. And they're still working on the fluidity of movement of these panels. They're still refining it a lot. Uh, it's not coming to market just yet, but you will definitely see it on the Inwin store soon, within this year. For sure. Yeah, within this year. So. I mean, as long as anyone keeps innovating and bringing stuff like this to market, it kind of drives the market forward and other companies might feel a need to compete and also start experimenting with crazy cases. And if you want something that's super unique, Inwin has got you covered. Like I said, every year they have something like this to show off and uh, it's always really cool to see. So not only will it play lights, but then you could just kind of use hand commands to stop it. Hopefully you could stop it. I've stopped it now. Uh, it also plays a movie. There's a projector that goes down onto the screen below. The lighting in here is a little weird, so it doesn't, it won't look great if we play it right now. But so there's a projector. It'll play a movie. It'll do light shows. It'll sync with music. These are all, all these panels are individually controllable, so they kind of move all on their own. Uh, yeah, crazy stuff here from Inwin, but really cool. Do I look too casual leaning? Is this weird? Is this, is this good? <laughs> Should I start like this? Perfect. Right? At CES 2020, we are seeing a lot of companies come out with new AIOs, and Inwin has some of their own as well. This is the SR24 and the SR36. And if you get a little closer to the pump housing, you'll see that it is obviously a little bit bigger than normal. The reason for that is that there's not one pump in there, there are two. So there are multiple reasons to have two pumps in a system. One of them is redundancy. So if one of the pumps fails, you don't have to worry about the cooling performance just falling off the table the unit will still work. The second is because they are running in parallel, there is supposed to be a performance improvement. You're having more fluid running through your system. Should it result in lower temperatures? They weren't quite ready to give me numbers as far as how that does improve performance over a single pump system. We'll have to verify that in independent testing. But they are coming in March. The SR24 is going to be 119. The SR36 is going to be 139. Dual pumps, uh, new ARGB fans. So they look pretty neat. And we'll have to test them out ourselves. Last year, Inwin brought a very dangerous contraption to CES, and it was this very wheel right here. They've learned a few things, but they've got some new fans on this wheel this time. These are the Jupiter fans. And the coolest thing about these is gonna be the price. So they're selling them in a single pack for $9.50 or a three pack for $29.99. These are 1800 RPM case fans, uh, addressable RGBs, and they should be available when? In uh, Q1. Uh, Q1 and they're daisy chainable just like Inwin's other fans. So I really do like that they are still carrying on with that daisy chain approach. It makes installation super easy. And uh, thank you very much for not making this a death machine this year. There are three new fairly budget enclosures from Inwin this year, starting over here with the 215 and moving across the table. So the 215 and the 216 are gonna be based on the same interior chassis, same tooling, same layout basically. The only difference is gonna be the exterior panels. The 215 is gonna be more focused on airflow. There's gonna be availability for three fans in the front, two on the top and one in the rear. And you can see that there is venting on the front, similar venting on the top as well. They said this should be pretty good for airflow but this is coming in at $69. Also $69 is the case that Mike's taking a look at right now, the 216. Now, the, the exterior layout, the exterior panels are a little bit different. You have a filtered solution for, uh, for the mesh up top, and the front is more of a solid panel approach. There is 
a little bit of airflow here, and then there's more on the side over here. So this is where your fresh air intake is gonna come from, here and here. Same fan layout, three, two, and one on the rear. But again, these cases, very similar. The only difference really is the front panel. The next case over here is the C200. This one's gonna be $79, so a little bit more expensive, but also a little bit different focus. So again, you have better airflow on this. You have vented top and front panel. Fan configuration is going to be a little bit different because you only have two on the front, but that's because you have a lot of room up top for storage. So this is going to be a case where you can put up to nine drives in, including two optical drives if you want. If you don't want the optical drives, this space can instead be used for three hot swappable 3.5 inch hard drives. The add-on module for the hot swappable drives is going to be sold separately, so the $79 price point will include the optical drive mount. And if you wanted to expand your storage capacity to include these hotspot drives, you'd be able to buy it separately on the InWin website. So every once in a while on the CES show floor, you run into some people that you know. And this time I, I happen to run into uh, a model. So he's actually going to show you the new InWin B1. This is a small form factor case, mainly targeted at HTPC use. It comes with an included power supply, 200 watts, 80 plus gold rated. All the cabling is gonna be in there for you. And as, that was great. See that? That was really well I, done. I knew what you were gonna say next. Yeah, absolutely. Fits mini ITX uh, motherboards in there. Really nice, really compact, can fit in different orientations. So over here we have the vertical orientation versus the horizontal orientation. You're like Vanna White. Oh, good, eh? Yeah, really good. And uh, Johnny, when is this coming out? February or March, and $85, the InWin B1. At Computex 2019, InWin showed this, the 925. This is the smaller brother of the 928, which is a $1,000 chassis that they showed last year at CES. It was mainly focused on housing the Asus Dominus Extreme Board 14x14s. It was quite large, made of all aluminum, very pricey, very limited production run. This is gonna be more focused on a mainstream audience. Yes, it's still pricey, gonna be about $500, uh, but it still fits in no an enormous amount of hardware, still made of all aluminum, still has the same kind of exterior case aesthetic. Looks really cool, should be able to, should be like a water cooler's dream system because it is open around the side, so airflow for your radiator should be really good. And uh, I mean, if you want a high-end chassis, you want all aluminum, you want something that's a little unique looking, and the 928 maybe was either a little too big or a little too pricey for you, you basically got the same thing shrunken down to a reasonable size, reasonable form factor in the 925. If we move over a little bit, you see the InWin Alice. Now, this has been a, a, almost an unexpected hit for them. When they introduced this at Computex, they were kind of blown away with the amount of interest people had in this kind of open air concept. The exterior of the case can either be left open like it is and used maybe as a test bench or just because you like the aesthetic. But the really cool thing about the Inwin Alice is that they sell fabric that goes over the exterior. So you can customize the fabric, change the entire look of the case. This is made of an ABS plastic, so it's super light, super portable, super durable and the fabric on the outside is easily replaceable by the end user. You could buy them, you could have a whole bunch of different looks for your system if you want. Down below here you see two new fabrics that are coming out on the InWin eStore. If the replacement fabrics are only about $15 and they are coming out with new concepts all the time. You got this cam over here and this cool, I don't know, PC component, uh, I don't know, montage on the side. So yeah, they're always coming out with new colors, new, uh, new layouts, new fabrics for uh, for the InWin Alice and you could buy these on the InWin e store you could buy them on Amazon and uh, they look pretty cool so, again super unique concept from InWin so that's it from here CES 2020 at the InWin booth at the Las Vegas Convention Center thank you so much for watching our videos and thank you to our CES sponsors Thermaltake, Fractal Design and Corsair check them out at the links down below in the video description get subscribed for more CES content coming soon thank you very much to InWin for having us at their booth We'll check you guys next time. All of our CES videos are edited on the Electronics Mag 15. Check out the link below.